Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for coming back. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, like, and share the video after watching it. Now, let's get right into this. So today, I personally did some baking with my mom and my brother. So, as you can see, the title is uh, Baking with a Charcoal Oven, and we did it purely traditional way. When I mean pure, we did have a mixer, we, did have a, we used um, a cooking pot and a cooking stick to mix all of it together. So, it's, we did it all traditionally. And so, uh, I wanted you guys to enjoy this experience with us and i wanted you guys to also have an idea of what to do when you decide to do it and i hope that this will maybe inspire you to do your own baking yourself right now especially considering that some of you are confined to different counties or different parts of the world and you don't really have the enough enough resources to do a lot of baking now the first disclaimer is that uh people who took part in uh, who took part in people who took part in the baking process are not necessarily graduates of any baking school i'm sorry but we do know people who have done baking themselves and my mom used to do baking for her aunts and her sisters so basically we actually we actually know this stuff we don't really yeah but we will also do a second video because this is the first video with amateurs aka me the second disclaimer is that the video was done in portrait mode instead of landscape mode and that was a disappointment to me and i am saying this in the intro so that you, so that you will not be like really gina why but honestly the video turned out great i have done a lot of editing i hope you enjoy and i hope you also do this once you get the ingredients in everything so let's just get right into it oh yeah before i forget before i forget there's an ingredient that's not mentioned in the first part of the video and that's milk half a cup of milk although i'll state it again in the video i need to say this just in case you are following through and you want to bake with us so let's just get right into it the following are the ingredients that we used for baking. There is also a half a cup of milk that we forgot to put there, so just include it. Put half a kilogram of margarine or butter in a cooking pot. Put half a kilogram of sugar in parts as you mix with the margarine or butter. Put a pinch of salt in the mixture. Put 10 eggs in parts as you mix. Add 1 kilogram of flour in parts into the mixture. You can use either all-purpose flour or self-raising flour. Add 1 tablespoon of baking powder and mix well. Add one tablespoon of vanilla essence into the mixture. Put 
pour in half a cup of milk. Mix well till smooth. Here we oil the cooking pot, the reason being so that the cake does not stick to the pot and also you'll need to use a heavy cooking pot so that the cake can bake properly and so that it doesn't burn as well. After oiling the cooking pot you pour in the mixture. This specific stage is optional. We decided to put some sort of a lay some sort of layers on the cake. So here we put three teaspoons of drinking chocolate in a small mixture in a plate and we mixed it up all together. Then we put a layer of the chocolate, then we poured in the rest of the mixture, then some layer then the mixture again as you see in the as you'll see in the video Here you will need to have your charcoal stove hot and ready so that it can work appropriately as an oven. You will need a metal tray which you will use to put the hot charcoal on which will help in making the makeshift oven. Take the cooking pot with the mixture and place it on the jiko or charcoal stove. Then place the tray with the hot coal and then we wait. A few moments later. Whoops! After 30 minutes, you will notice that the cake is not yet ready, so we 
put the hot coal back on top and we wait again. Twenty minutes later. After twenty minutes, we were back yet again and we noticed that the cake still wasn't ready and there was some significant progress that was missing so we decided to reduce the amount of coal that was on top on, of the cooking pot and add more hot coal under the cooking pot. Oh yeah, for your information, this is our outdoor kitchen stroke store, just in case you're wondering where we are. One hour for five minutes later, the cake is finally ready. As you can see from uh, the fork that is being inserted inside the cake, it is ready. Afterwards, make sure you flip the cake onto a tray so that it can cool. I mean, wow, wow, wow. That turned out better than we expected, honestly. And we were the ones who were cooking, I mean. Yeah, if you had any doubts, <laughs> all of them gone out the window. Mm -hmm. We are not double-minded people, my friends, we are not. So, make sure you do this at home. Tag me once you do it. Once it turns out great, like it turned out for us. Tag me on my socials, Instagram, huh? Twitter, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of them. You just tag me and show these people huh, that we got them skills for baking. So anyway, we will do also, we will do another video and there will be a few changes here and there. And you can guess one of the changes is that we put more charcoal under the cooking pot rather than on top, right? So, thanks so much for watching and we will see each other in the next video. Yeah!